Hi, this is Penn Gillette of Penn and & Teller, and I'm safe with my family here in Las Vegas, staying inside like I'm supposed to. But I have magical friends that I love all over the world, and I've been told that in every deck of cards, there is an ambitious card, one card that just has a little more energy than the others. And uh, I've been told that for today, that card is the Three of Clubs. So I'm going to put this in the deck. I'll get rid of the uh, Joker here. Put that in the deck. Give it a little shuffle and see what my friends and magic all over the world can do with that. Be safe. Be well. Love you. Thank you. Hi. I'm Justin Purcell here in Chicago, Illinois. I'm looking for the elusive three of clubs as well. There it is. Magic is real. Well, you might be wondering if it appeared that exact moment that I snapped my fingers, and of course it did. I can prove it by putting it in face up. You can see it go into the middle of the deck like this, about halfway. But watch the top of the deck, because all I have to do is snap once again and still pops to the top of the deck even when it's face up and that's of course due to its sheer ambition there you go Now, I don't know if the other magicians pointed out, but this is very important to see that there's not a bunch of three of clubs in the deck. There's only one. I wouldn't lie to you, especially in a pandemic. And of course, the important bit is that the card on top of the deck, that's not the three of clubs, right? But if I snap my fingers, you can see it becomes the three of clubs. Now, normally, I wouldn't show you how this works, but I'm going to let you know because, well, the zombies are coming. So I'll do it in slow motion so you can see the secret. Hey, buddy. Three of clubs, obviously, I'm doing this very slowly. Normally at the speed you wouldn't see any of this. It goes in the middle of the deck. And you can see it's not on the top of the deck. But all I have to do is, hey, Avery, come here, bud. Put it face down, face down. All right, good, no hide. Snap my fingers, and just like that, it comes up to the top of the deck. Don't tell anybody I told you how it works. Here you go. Thanks. Deck of cards. Let's see. I've been told we're looking for the three of clubs. Not a problem. Three of clubs. I'll leave him in the middle of the deck so you can see it nice and fair. If I was any more fair about this, you'd be doing the trick for me. Watch close. The three of clubs comes all the way to the top. Here you go. Thank you very much. All it takes, friends, of course, is a little snap of the fingers, and that three of clubs always jumps to the top of the deck. It's because it has a preference, which sounds silly, but it's true. It likes to be first, not in the middle, not at the end. Likes to be first, so we always start here with the three of clubs on top of the pack. Yeah? You look skeptical, but I'll show you. It's really there. You're right to be skeptical, though. Good instincts. We're going to slide that little guy into the middle. And just like that, friends, to the top, every... No. I forgot to snap. Sometimes it, uh, it waits for the cue, the three of clubs. And that, friends, is that. You're up. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> We're going to find our ambitious card today, which is the three of clubs. The best way that I know how, maybe not very socially distant, but it works. I got it. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, fix that for you. Here you go. What's this? Ooh. The ambitious card, huh? Uh, let's see. Ah, three of clubs, right? I knew it. I knew it. Check this out.
<laughs> Always comes to the top. All right, let's keep going. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good job, by the way. All right, let's see where that three of clubs is. Is it on the top? No. Is it on the bottom? No. But the three of clubs is very ambitious, you know. You just have to wait a moment. Long enough. And look, it's on the top. Hmm. You know, if you bend the three of clubs, then you can track it at a distance. Let me show you. See, even if the cards get mixed, because of the little bend in the three of clubs there, that bend reveals the identity to anybody in the know. And if we take the three of clubs and put it right over here, because it's so ambitious, you'll see it actually goes up. There it is, right there, on the top. What? Oh, you want to turn? Sure. Here, take the whole deck. I have to get back to my Zoom call. Uh, hey, thanks guys. Uh, appreciate that. Devin Brown here, uh, for those that don't know, over in Chicago. My turn to share with you how to find the most ambitious card. Of course, we got to mix those cards, and uh, all you have to do is give it a ripple, and one card jumps all the way to the top. <laughs> the Jack of Hearts. Uh, what's up with the Jack of Hearts? What's going on? Am I uh, missing something here? Oh, that's right. Here in Chicago, the most ambitious card usually ends up under the glass. Here you go. Thank you very much. Now, my name is Mr. Danny, and I go by Mr. Danny because when I'm not a magician, I go by Mr. Rudnick, and I'm a high school science teacher. So because I am a teacher, I want to show you how this works. So that three goes back into the middle of the deck, and it's important for you to watch the top of the deck. I want you to see the moment that it comes to the top. So here we go. All we have to do is count to three. One, two, three. Just like that. See, it's automatic. <laughs> so that goes back in the deck. And now we pass this along to our next friend. Hey, Danny. Oh! Hey, look at that. I got it. Not bad. As for all these. Oh, you know what? I've got another deck of cards. I'll just hand over the other. Oh, crap. These are blue. And everybody's been using a red deck of cards. Here, you know what? Maybe if I take the three of clubs and I just touch it to the blue, it turns into a red. That's pretty good. Here, I'll give this to you. Good luck. Bye. Where we all have to wear a mask. I got mine from Jeff McBride. I don't think he understood the deal. Anyway, um, I think we have... Uh, the three of clubs on the top of the deck, and it goes right in the middle of the deck. And with a wave of the hand, it comes back to the top. It's a bloody miracle. Here. Hey, thanks. Hey everybody, Sean Preston here from Denver, Colorado. We're gonna do a card trick. Now we're looking for the ambitious card and everybody knows that that is the three of clubs. I want you to see though that it's not on the top, it's not on the bottom. In fact, it's somewhere in the middle. All I have to do is just snap and the three of clubs jumps all the way up to the top. Now I'll do it again, but this time I'm gonna do it face up. That way you'll know the moment it comes up to the top. I want you to see it's about three quarters of the way down, but that's okay. All I have to do is just give it a wave, watch close, don't blink, it comes all the way up to the top, just that fast. And that is the ambitious card. Here you go guys, have fun. Three of clubs, if I do, if I shuffle the deck, 
snap my fingers, the three of clubs will be on top. What? Let's make that more difficult. Let's see. We'll put it in the center. I'll show you it's not on top, right? And it's not on the bottom. It's lost somewhere in the center, right? Now I'm just going to drop some cards, and you say stop, right? Stop right there, the three of clubs. That's weird. All right, I'm Jonathan Cam. Stay safe, guys. Who's up next? Thank you for that. They lost the three of clubs somewhere in that deck of cards. I'm gonna not only make it rise to the top, I'm gonna make it rise even higher out of the deck. It's gonna spin, do 300 somersaults, and land safely in my hand. Here we go. Boom, there it is, the three of clubs. Now that's pretty cool, I can make it rise out of the deck like that, but what if I could shoot it in the air, make it do 300 somersaults and land safely in my mouth. Here we go, let's try it out, okay? Here we go, push that three inside, you can see it go into the deck. Three of clubs, thank you very much. All right, next guy, here you go. Thank you very much. First we'll give the cards a little bit of a shuffle. We're gonna try and find that uh, ambitious three of clubs. How about that right there? But you see, in magic, you never get to see the actual moment it occurs. You see the before, you see the after. So in this case, we're gonna bend that three of clubs. So you can see the nice crease right there. And one, two, three, it goes right back to the top. There. Not on the top, not on the bottom, must be somewhere in the middle. We'll just place the deck inside this totally normal looking magical device. I mean, cake pan with lid and handle that someone would absolutely have in their kitchen. Say the magic words, totally normal device, and let's see if it worked. Look at that, right there, the three of clubs jumped all the way to the top. Bury it right back in the middle, and here you go. Greetings and salutations. Ryan Lawrence here, and today we're gonna do one of my favorite card tricks. It's called the Ambitious Card. And we're gonna use a special card today to do the Ambitious Card. Let's see if I can cut to it. It is, drum roll please, the Three of Clubs. Now we'll take that Three of Clubs and we'll cut it, I don't know, about halfway down inside the pack. All I have to do is wiggle my fingers and say the magic word, quarantine. Because that card is so ambitious, the Three of Clubs magically rises to the top. There you have it, folks, a classic of magic. I hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy. This is Ryan Lawrence, and I am out of here. I'm Neil Tobin, Necromancer, and here in Chicago, I will use tarot cards to read someone's mind or try to peer into the future, so no promises about these. But what are we looking for, the three of clubs? Okay. And there you are. Okay, I know it might be somewhat surprising to see the death card from a tarot pack making an appearance from a regular deck of cards, but I actually see it a lot and it's a good thing because what it means is the end of an old chapter and the beginning of something new. Let me try it again. Three of clubs. Mind if I take a peek at it first? Okay, while one death card doesn't surprise me too much, the appearance of two death cards is just ridiculous. May I try it one more time? Thank you. Three of clubs. That'll work. Great. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let's be safe.
be well. Take care. We love you. Want to give it a try? Oh, that went by the fantastic Richard Awesome. And um, I'm the inventor of an ambitious card. And an ambitious card, not the ambitious card, an ambitious card. I've written uh, uh, 422 books. Uh, an ambitious card, an ambitious card too. A curse of an ambitious card, an ambitious card goes to prison. Uh, Cage Fury, and a vicious card goes to prison too. Oh, and the unbearable lightness of being an ambitious card, which is the last one, which is what this is. And uh, the three of clubs. He's running up, committed jewel heist. And uh, everyone says, "Stop!" Uh, 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 federal agent uh, Diamond in the prison, and all that, and all the grand jury thing. I won't go through all that. Which he needs to. Uh, all rise, the Honorable, uh, uh, Five of Hearts, uh, presiding. I send uh, you to hang by your neck until you are dead. And, uh, and you guys, so where'd he go? One of the guys says, the other guy, that, you know, the guy that watched the graves or whatever. And the guy's like, I don't know. It's a real head scratcher. And then, he's, and then you know, it's in the, it's in the hat. You know, and then it's like, oh, whatever. Let me give it to me. This, you gonna let them follow me?